What's poppin' homies? It's your favorite homegirl gossip girl and today I have some more bad news for you today. There is another um, incident that four University of Idaho students were found dead Sunday night in a house near the campus and they have been identified. So we're going to go ahead and get into that. Four University of Idaho students were found dead Sunday night in a house near campus have been identified. The city of Moscow Police Department said on Monday the slain students were 20-year-old Ethan Chapman, 21-year-old Madison Mogan, 20-year-old Sana Canado, and 21-year-old Kaylee Goncalves. Gon okay, so... Those are the four. Now, Moscow police said they are investigating the deaths as homicides, but did not provide any other information about what happened. Now, as of midday Monday, no suspect is in, is in custody. Anyone with any information about this case has been asked to contact the police. I find that very odd for four students of the University of Idaho to be all dead. It was found dead in a camp, in a house near the campus. Something is not right with that. Now, the police department and city of Moscow is deeply saddened for the families of these individuals, fellow students, and friends in our community during this time. The police department said, our heartfelt sympathies go out to each and every person affected by this incident. Now, the Moscow mayor called the students' death senseless acts of violence. This tragedy serves as a sobering reminder that senseless acts of violence can occur anywhere at any time and we are not immune from such events here in our community. Today we grieve for those we were lost and those they leave behind. Let us come together in support of each other and be there for each other as we mourn as a community. Now the police have indicated there is no ongoing threat. The university tweeted Sunday without elaborating Officers responded to a call about an unconscious person shortly before noon on Sunday and discovered the four bodies, the Moscow Police Department said in a news release. It is with deep sadness that I share with you that the university was notified today of the death of four University of Idaho students living off campus believed to be the victims of homicide. University President Scott Green said in a statement to the campus community, the slain students were also involved on campus, according to the university. Chapin was a freshman majoring in recreation, sport, and tourism management, who was also a member of the Sigma Chi fraternity. CNN has reached out to the Sigma Chi, and I guess they didn't get any response back as of yet. Hmm. Um, Sana was a junior majoring in marketing and was also a member of the Pi Beta Phi sorority. CNN has reached out to that sorority. Mogan was a senior majoring in marketing and Goncalves was a senior majoring in general studies according to the university. Counseling will be provided on campus for students and employees through Tuesday, the school said. The tragic discovery came as another U.S. college campus, the U.S. United, excuse me, the University of Virginia in Charlottesville, is reeling as three students were fatally shot on Sunday. This is absolutely insane. Both of these incidents happened on Sunday. Two different universities, two different things going on, and students, four students are dead at the um, University of I from University of Idaho. They were found in a home that was off campus and three at the University of Virginia. Hmm. Now, we know that um, the gunman was identified at UVA and he's in custody. At the University of Idaho, in-person and online classes Monday are canceled and set to resume on Tuesday. We are grateful for the support of the community and the ongoing efforts of the police department. The university is committed to supporting students and families during this difficult time. CNN has reached out to the university and to the police department for more details. So there's nothing much here. Um, 
I'm going to wait a few days to see what's going on. If there's going to be any updates. Because this is really mysterious. Like what happened. And they ruling it as a homicide. So there's a lot here. Okay. There's a lot here. Now I'm going to click on a different article. If it opens for me. And they're calling this a crime of passion. In another article. And the authorities are still piecing this together about what transpired at the home. Wow. Hmm. But I wonder what made this article call this a crime of passion? What information did they get that the other articles didn't get? Yeah, I'm going to be looking into this. And hopefully by tomorrow, we should have some more information. Now, they are, now, an uh, autopsy is to be conducted on Wednesday. And so the medical examiner says she um, could not share any information about how the victims have been killed without the police authorizing her to do so. So, Probably Wednesday, we would know some, some more stuff because the medical examiner that works at the coroner's office cannot, you know, they can't give out any information. I'm sorry, she's the county coroner, not the medical examiner, but the county coroner. It's just, you know what, it's, this stuff will really take a toll on you mentally. Because it's just so much stuff happening. And it's like, wow. After, you know, talking about Christopher Jones Jr. And what he was doing at UVA. And now this. It's like, my mind is drained. It, it really is. But, um. Yeah. If I find out any more, I'll let you guys know. But as for the autopsy report. It looks like we're not going to know anything until Wednesday on that. If that ha if the police authorized her to tell the public, you know, what happened and how they died. Mm -mm -mm. It's just so much stuff happening all over the place. It just, whew, it's just, I just, I just don't know how anyone can cope during this time. It's just, some, it's just so much. It's just so much. But um, I'm going to go ahead and go. So, you guys, I'm, it's a really short video. I just want to talk to you about this um this homicide that happened at the University of Idaho. And one article is calling it a crime of passion. A crime of passion. Hmm. That's interesting. Because they're not saying anything. They're not putting nothing out just yet. You know, they're not putting out anything yet. So, like I said, we might not know anything until Wednesday. If anyone knows something before me, please let me know. And I'll do my research and share it with you guys. But it looks like we're not going to know nothing until Wednesday. So, I'll keep checking back. And if I hear anything, you know I'm going to always put y'all on. So, you guys have a good one. And I'll talk to you later.